It is well known that the mammal's visual system fixates on specific objects for short periods of time. Further, it has been postulated that during these fixations, time to contact is measured and used to control the observer's motion. However, there has been little theoretical work considering how time to contact and acceleration are related. In this work, we generalize time to contact, known as tau, or z over z dot, into three dimensions and call the result frequency of contact. We then derive a novel constraint between time to contact, acceleration, and depth that we call the tau constraint. Further, we derive a closely related constraint that we call the phi constraint. With minor augmentations, these constraints allow a moving monocular camera to estimate the distance to a patch of unknown size by accelerating in any direction. We apply our constraints to the task of measuring trajectory relative to a patch of unknown size using a monocular camera and 6-axis IMU. Specifically, a target patch is kept in the field of view, while the camera rotates and translates throughout the scene for 8 to 40 seconds. Over 10 such sequences, our methods achieve a lower average trajectory error than Vins Mono and Rovio. Additionally, our method runs much faster. Trajectory estimation is only one of many applications for our constraint. We also consider an interesting problem in robotics where the gain between the control effort and acceleration is unknown. In this case, we show that our constraints allow control effort to be used in the place of measured acceleration. This is sometimes called using an efference copy. Doing so makes the stability margins invariant with regard to the unknown gain. We test this property by deploying a robot in a visual servoing task. Its goal is to reach a fixed distance from the target. Initially, the control gains are tuned with a unity gain between the control signal and the command sent to the motors. Both methods cause the robot to approach the target in a stable manner. However, when the unknown gain is increased to 2 and a measured acceleration is used, the robot begins to oscillate as is typical of a poorly tuned controller. On the other hand, when efference copies are used with our constraint, the robot remains stable. As a result of these experiments, we believe that further development of the tau and phi constraints in theory and practice to be a promising direction for VIO, VI SLAM, Active Vision, and robotics. Our code is open source at the following link.